Yes, 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 my viewers and subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome to another exciting episode of Jamaica Hot Topic, where we bring you the hottest and latest news happening in and around Jamaica. As usual, it plans to be another exciting, entertaining, and informing live stream. So please go ahead and hit the like button. Yes, students, hit the like button as you come into the live stream. And if you would like a shout out, all you have to do is to type your name in the comments. My viewers and subscribers, Police killed Dan a Spanish town. Yes, police killed one Dan, my viewers and subscribers. And the people them black the road and gun shot a fire. My viewers and subscribers, I have some things to show you tonight. Hit the like button. Welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic. We have a whole leaf to talk about. And we still not leave off of the government. We are going to talk about the DPP again. We now let it go. We now let go long tongue Terry Land neither. And we are going to talk about Devon. Wicked Devon and his wife Shevan. The wicked oppressive government that is on us. Students, welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic. Welcome one and all. Please remember to hit the like button. Tonight is going to be another exciting class. Let me start the class by giving you a warning. All right, students. Let me start the class by giving them a warning. I'm here back going sit up here. Come on, somebody big up Jesus. Saint Elizabeth, big up Jesus. Come on, give him praise. Welcome, students. Welcome to Jamaica Topic. Good evening, good night. May I give you a warning? Warning. The people in my Jamaica are right. Them black road when done dead, but when government do foolish, it's them no black road. When done dead, road black tire bun and all kind of something, but when government give themselves raise, when the hospital na go on good, when not na go on good, nobody na you know, na na black the road. My viewers and subscribers, you know, sister, the people them all right. May I go no one warning tonight? Listen to it. Give him praise, give him praise. I am giving you a warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you taste that You need to put up your hand and up Jesus. I am giving you a warning. Holy Ghost, I love you. Jesus Christ is in the Somebody put up your hand and big up Jesus. I where so much people come from. And then I go on. Somebody give him praise. I am giving you a warning. All over this place. All over this place. And you take it. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, I'm year one at that judgment. Me year one judgment. The labor right, them are gonna have a meeting tomorrow, Sunday. Somebody type Sunday. The labor right, them the big hierarchy of the JLP are gonna have a meeting tomorrow, Sunday, up at Belmont Road, them edifice. And teeth and tongue said Devon under pressure because they're gonna put pressure upon him. And me year say somebody might challenge him. You hear me say, my viewers and subscribers, somebody might ask him, step down. Students, so do you think I joke me I make? Wait till later, I'm telling you where may I get the information from. Hit the like button, students. Class, I go nice. Big up Jesus, big up Jesus, big up Jesus, big up Jesus. Have you turned it? Holy war, holy war, holy war, holy war, holy war, holy war. I am keeping you. Oh! 
on the talk to me now. Bad man dead on them black road. Bad man dead on them black road. But when government give themselves increase, nobody black road. When government want to take money give SSL, nobody black road. The constitution, the needs, nobody black road. The people them love black road for bad man and badness. That is what me convinced about. So And if you don't think, say, Devon forget the Republic business, I go and show you, say, Devon still decides, say, I'm going to make Jamaica Republic. Somebody type Republic. If you think, say, Prime Minister Devon him done with the Republic business, me I go show you, say, him still have Republic in my mind. Watch me, I go show you now. <laughs> I am going. I know you're gonna want cuss, but me have a little mean for the secret. I am not a talk kind of, so don't think the cuckoo do I go talk. Me not get the part there. But this is what you people need to hear. And the promoter has still said the time has passed, so I just have five minutes or ten. So. Yes, students, hit the like button and go and start the class in a two minutes. Hit the like button, students, hit the like button and go and rock in your house. Hit the like button and go and rock, students. What a judgment. So, what you say? Just sing till the power of God come down. 
students bring the likes to 200 i'ma start the class bring the likes to 200 i'ma start the class right away 200 likes i'ma start the class come on students hit the like button You see, because I know you want to hear a certain song, me not going to do them too long because we have to come out here. No, Shanti. Put up your hand and say, thank God to be cross over. Some people are about telling us how they not come out to not the good. Some people are about telling us how they pick me not come out to not the good. Put up your hand make them sooner. Tell them upon this rock. Yes, you build your church. No weapon. You are tribulation. When people don't know when people take my part. When people don't know when some people bury you. Put up on all the men and so not Holy Jesus. You are being true. Get ready, get ready, students. Get ready, get ready. Sit down. Sit down, students. Sit down in your desk. Get sit down around your desk with your pen and paper in your hand. 
Your pen and pencil, get ready to start the class. I'm going to mark the register. Get ready, get ready. We have not tonight in our presence of God. Tell them in spite of everything. Thank God on the cross. Can I see the people that went cross over? Just got some and some wicked people sober. Students, class is now in session. Class is now in session. A blessed evening to everyone. A blessed night to you. <coughs> Sorry. Wherever in the world you are, welcome to Jamaica. A topic of judgment over the class tonight. Students, hold on there. Hold on there. <coughs> hold on, students. I come out the register. Hold on. I'm trying to go to the top of the comments where the, where the comments begin. Good evening, everyone. Wherever in the world they are, blessings, welcome to Jamaica, I tap you, big up on yourself, big up on yourself. Students are going to mark the register and bless up the names, alright? Some names run off of, the, off of the comments already as usual, so let me just bless up who is here. Nicola Green, blessings to you, last time you know. Sandra Plunkett, big up yourself, Florence Brown, Skinny Clark, Juliet Campbell, big up yourself, Candy Kim, Dion, Sharon Fab, Karen Karen, Tracy and Turner, Ines Phillips, blessed Ines, how you doing? Sonia Ellis, truth 6211, say, I was born and grew up in Spanish Town. It's a quiet place. I ashamed of what Spanish Town has become. I visited home last year and I did not recognize anyone. Spanish Town is a different place, sister. Spanish town is a warring different town. I may go show you, sir. May have one video for showing you where peer gun shot a fire in a Spanish town. Me have one video for sure. You say, Peer gunshot a fire in a Spanish town. Wait till I ready for showing you the video. Jean Wright, good night. Ryan Gentle Skin Brown. Nicola Green, good night to you. Errol Clark, good night to you. Isila Ohashi, blessings to you. Who else now? Sharon it, Bernard, good night. Blessings to Nigel Samuels. Big up KK. KK, how you doing? Hope you're feeling better. Nicola Green, blessings to you. Guy, good night. La Latoya Williams, Calligraphy, Vinel, Angela Forbes. Big up to Viv Chin, Sharon Daly, Arlene Benbo, Gaida Thomas, Carlyle Banks, Myrtle Thompson, Kenar, Nov Daniels. Big up all of the students I'm going to come in a class long time. Mavis Forbes, Abdullah Forbes. Big up all of the Forbes them. Big up Janet Riley, Maxine Cunningham, Kimona Michaela. Blessings to you, Kimona Michaela. Good to see you in class today. Evelyn Meekle, Andrea Hunt, Carleen, Lawrence Howell, Juliet Jackson. Big up to everybody in the class. And Bennett, Lorna Silvera. Yes. Lana Silvera said, not sorry for anyone, for them anymore. Please kiss me teeth. Arlene Benbow, Poochie Scott, big up yourself. Altia Johnson, Paulette Simpson, Veronica Bailey. Big up all of the students in the class. Arlene Frome, Trevor Cole, Distance Friend, Nia Brem. Big up all the students that are in Jamaica Topic class. Blessings to you, each and everyone. Blessings to you, Cheryl Dell King. Big up yourself, big up Maya Brown. Maya said, tomorrow is your birthday. Big up yourself, Maya Brown. Blessings to everybody in the class. Andrea Palmer, Beverly Lawson. Yes, big up Danette Ariat, Margaret Wilson. Big up, big up Kim. Big up Winnie Mead. Big up everybody. Craig, blessings to everybody in the class, students. All right, big up on yourself, Laris Beckford. Beverly Alexander. Blessings to all the students that are inside of the class. Gloria Morris, everybody. If you call any, I'm not watching your face, all right? Moms. Special, Shining Star, my moderator, Lionel Messi, Lawrence Howell. Big up to everybody in the class. Turla Allen, Lorna Jones, Nob Daniels, Michelle Johnson, Pamela McNeil, Patrick Russell, Abby Gale. Big up yourself, Campbell, everybody in the class. Song Sonia Bird, everybody. Big up on yourself, Hugh Bennett, Drew Fall, Paula Hibbert. Big up on yourself, everybody in the class. Welcome to Jamaica Topic. Class is in session now. Make us start talking about the affairs of the nation. Students. Me have one video for sure, you know. I'm a want to tell me if this person is out of there. Well, students, you can imagine, students, I'm going to be showing you 
One video with a landlord. Somebody type landlord. Somebody type landlord. Somebody type in a them comments landlord. My viewers and subscribers, you can imagine that you owe the landlord money to write it. Cut my viewers and subscribers. Or let's put it both way. You have a tenant in a your yard. And your tenant owe you rent for how long? The one paying a rent in a your yard. You are a landlord in a student. You are a landlord, Michelle Watson, Merv Gordon, Jean Writer, everybody, Lenward Steele, Angelie. You are a landlord, uh, Sonia Bird, everybody. You are a landlord, CIA, and Z Bennett, uh, Zenith Beckford. And you have one tenant, one problematic tenant, Massa. And the tenant owe you rent how long and the one pay your rent for how long. What would you do? Well, I am going to show you what a landlord did, my viewers and subscribers. And I want you to tell me if you agree with the landlord. I go and show you what this landlord do. I want one of my viewers and subscribers tell me if you agree with the landlord or you think him go too far. Well, on the students, you know, look at this first for assignment. Four well, on students, look at this first assignment, student. The, you it, put it both ways. You are a tenant or you are a landlord. You owe the landlord money or your tenant owe your money. My brother subscribers, the landlord get a town crier come at the people them yard. Look here. The landlord get a town crier. You know what is a town crier? Them carry them with the speaker up on the top and make peer nice. And ball out advertisement and politics business. You can imagine the landlord send town crier come at your yard. Come ball out to the neighbor say you owe rent. Murder. Lord Jesus, no, my viewers and subscribers, tell me if you think the landlord got too far. Look at this student here. We have to laugh, you know, because me have some, some bang around for top in Jamaica and Uno Eda got hurt, you know, because Devon is going to tell you what has his government been doing for Jamaica. Devon, the wicked prime minister, is going to tell us what has his government been doing for Jamaica. I mean, no, we not go cause. So I better only try to find something to laugh about in at the beginning. Look at the first assignment and tell me if you think the landlord went too far. Listen to this. For four years, got notice, two time, and don't want to move. Condition apply. This is a paid announcement by the landlord of lot 127 Cedar Grove Crescent, Maggie Palm. This tenant or rent for 24 months. Whole water bill for four years, got notice, two time, and don't want to move. Condition apply. This is a paid announcement by the landlord of lot 127 Cedar Grove Crescent, Muggle Palm. This tenant or rent for 24 months. Whole water bill for four years, got notice, two time, and don't want to move. Condition apply. Bill for four years. Got no notice right it, students. Type in the comments and tell me, did you think the hey <laughs> student tell me, did you think him went too far? Students, remember play back the, the public announcement one more time. Type in the comments and tell me, students, if you think him got too far. This for four years. Got notice two time and don't want to move. Condition apply. This is a paid announcement by the landlord of lot 127 Cedar Grove Crescent, Maggie Palm. Hold well, on, the students. I am going to put up a poll. Yes, ma'am. Let me put up a poll quick and fast. Let me put up a poll, my, my viewers, quick and fast. So let me ask you a question. Did you think, do you think the landlord went too far? Do you think this landlord went too far? Far. Please click yes or no, students. Please participate in the poll. I'm asking you the question. Do you think this landlord went too far? Please click yes or no, my viewers and subscribers. I want you to participate in the poll. Please participate in the poll, students. I hit the like button. Do you think... Do you think that he went too far? Please click yes or no. If you think him got too far, click yes. If you not think him got too far, click no. All right? Listen to the excitement one more time. For four years, got notice, two time, and don't want to move. Condition apply. This is a paid announcement by the landlord of lot 127 Cedar Grove Crescent, 
Maggie Palm, they stand or rent for 24 months, whole water bill for four years, got notice, two time, and don't want to move. Condition apply. This is a paid announcement by the landlord of lot 127 Cedar Grove Crescent, Maggie Palm. This tenant or rent for 24 months, whole water bill for four years, got notice, two time, and don't want to move. Condition apply. Bill for. Students, so want to tell me. Anybody want to call me? Moderator, put up my number there. Let me see if nobody want to call me. Put up my moderator, put up my number, moderator. Let me see if, if anybody want to call me upon the matter. Juliet Campbell said, I don't know what to say. Jude said, time to leave. Oh, my God. Ali Newell said, my heart. Errol Clark said, where you say condition apply? Dead with laugh. Scarpy Scarpy said, what? This is what the courts are for. Good night to you. I am Ilian Dorian Walker. Juliet Campbell said, a landlord, the well serious. Yes, I'm serious, Massa. Florence Brown said, I had problem with tenants before. And you know... Uh, and you have to be wasting time going to court. Lord Jesus. Can the king say, I guess they will move now. Call me students and tell me. I want a couple students to call me. Shining Star put up my number. They make two people call me and tell me if them think the man got too far. Well, our student, Sister Winnie. Sister Winnie is our first caller tonight. On the well, our student. Yes, Sister Winnie. Welcome to the program, Sister Winnie. How are you doing? Welcome to the program. Welcome. I'm going to be a good girl today. Yes. Now, I'm talking of him. I feel for KK. She's in hospital and nothing's been done for her. They're not doing anything. We should concentrate on her, too. Yes, the gentleman did the right thing. Yes. Oh, it's a pity he cannot do it 24 hours a day. Can you imagine you build your house out of sweat and rent it to someone and they live in your house free? Who would like someone living their house free and don't pay no rent? Yes, that is true. But let me ask you one question to... again. The people them are saying, because I see some people in the comments say, what, say that is what the courts are for. That you must go to court because what you're doing now is that you're annoying the tenants and, and disturbing them in the property. <laughs> and then you're disturbing... <laughs> And then they're disturbing other, other neighbor, neighbors next door. What you you have to you say about that? You're disturbing the tenant. He's been to court twice. And he is not moving out. And I bet when you go back in that house, everything might be destroying there. It's not fair. Yes. The court got to be more stricter than these people. They love to move into people place and do not pay rent. Water no nothing. Yes. It's not right in. Well, it's so. Well, you see, well, it's so. You see, if I want one month or two months or so, you can't say maybe I want to look at difficulty or you lose a job. Yes. But four years? But four years? Four years? Oh, no, God, two days. What probably me, I'll probably burn down the damn house anyway. Four years? When they're not there. Somebody, uh, well, there. somebody years, type, no, somebody, man. somebody type four years to me. Four years, student. Oh, God, four years are too much. Me not lie. Four years is really oh, too much. And that man, that man sweat is every sweat to build that house, like an income, and some jackass living in the man house, huh? And won't pay no rent. I am not ready to talk politics till till, till Monday morning, Monday night. But I am saying, see what we can do for KK, please. She's right. in hospital and, and nothing it, is better for And as they talk, her. and as they talk okay. about KK. I'm going to see if I can't care. I wonder if you can text me. So you're still in the hospital. I didn't I realize a couple of people occasionally mentioning KK, you know, because KK is one of our students. I know, so we care about our students. So KK, are you still in the yeah. hospital? Because the last time I remember her saying that she did a C-section, she come out of the hospital and then she had to come back in and she was supposed to do a surgery and that there was no hospital. There, there was no ambulance no, for me, no hospital. ambulance. She's still in hospital. This is not something is wrong, man. When you do a C section, it's not nice, you know. Yes. I have two and it's not nice. Yes. Your pain you're going through. It could be infection as well. 
I get you. I See get what you. we can do. See if you can students, find out from KK what's students, going on. Students, okay. I don't know if KK want to call personally or if KK, if you don't want to call, you can send me a WhatsApp and update me and let me know what's happening. KK, send me a WhatsApp or so. You understand? And then update me on what is happening. All right. And students, I want you to remember KK in your prayers. To all my people who take the time to know God and pray to the good Lord and Father. I ask you to remember KK, one of our students who is currently in the hospital. And this just goes to show you, I talk it time and time again, you know. Time and time again, me talk it. Say the whole of we have a concern about the healthcare system, you know. Because anyone now we can't end up in a hospital any day, you know. When you hear me always, I tell you, the student. So the whole we have to talk about it because anyone that we can end up in the hospital in the day, when we end up in there, we are going to see say, all the things that other people been talking about is not lie. We talk, it's a nothing that the hospital how long. And since you go do surgery and can't go do surgery because no ambulance. And we talk, say no ambulance, no MRI, no CT scan, not even partition, curtain in there. So when you wipe up, you see up yourself, somebody can't see your private parts. Not even that in the hospital. So we have to talk up. But anyway, I students, I ask you please to remember KK in your prayers tonight. I beg of you to remember Sister KK in your prayers tonight. All right? All right, Sister Winnie. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, I ask you please to remember our, our classmate KK in your, in, in your prayers tonight. All right? I would just go for sure say the whole way of a talk up. Because at any point in time, you might be in a similar situation. We've spoken about it time and time again, you know, that this is a situation that concerns all of us. Yes, caller, welcome to Atopic, you live on the program. Well, um, I'm happy to actually get your program. You know, I've been listening to you and I'm in total agreement yes. with the landlord because I have a similar situation in Jamaica a few years ago. Yes. And uh, I was leaning with this guy. He lives at a house in Long Jolly Park. I actually was away for about four years, and he did not pay any rent. He asked me for a year free. I gave it to him. We went to court. The judge ordered him to pay. He said, yes, he's going to pay. And then, up to now, he didn't pay. So I'm in total agreement with him. So I just end up selling the house, and um, that's it. The yes. last time that I've done done it out of frustration you know so you say you agree with the landlord because no. you go to a situation where you have tenant where your money how long and not pay you that's in Langville Park in a Langville Park that's in Clarendon in Langville Park actually yes yes okay yeah. and and I was very nice to the tenant yes when you're too nice these things happen to you I understand, I understand. So, I mean, we have total agreement, my brother. Okay, okay. This area code is where you're calling from, my brother. What part of the world are you calling from? I'm calling from Dubai now. Oh, you're calling from Dubai? Yes, yes. Oh, well, well, that's good to know that we have Jamaicans in Dubai, my, my brother. That's really good to know that we have Jamaicans in Dubai. And most importantly, listening to our topic. I really appreciate you listening to our topic, yeah. my brother, all the way in Dubai. Blessings to your man. So how is life in Dubai? Well, we are having um, a lot of areas uh, flooded because, you know, they did the uh, cloud seeding. Are you familiar with, I don't know if you are familiar with cloud seeding, but it's an issue where mm -hmm. they actually inject um, sodium chloride inside In the cloud. Yes. And then rainfall. Yes. Rainfall. Yes. Right. So it went uncontrollable. So 70% um, of the country now is actually flooded because even myself is just walking now. And the areas are flooded, you know. Wow. If you are here, I could show you areas that actually, um, you know, nothing can move. Wow. You understand? So I, I saw... It's a very sad situation. Yes, I saw some reports on it on the international news, you know, because I was checking on CNN and Fox and few other news because I occasionally check on the international news, you know, and I realized that they said that Dubai, and I saw it on social media too, that Dubai, most of Dubai was flooded. So, you know, I just pray and hope that you and your family are all right, you know, and that, you know, you didn't uh, suffer any property damage or anything of that sort, you know what I mean, or asset or anything of that sort. 
Yes. No, no damage. Uh, yes. We are okay. My family is fine. And okay. everyone is doing well. All right. Um, okay. I listen to you um, regularly. And I just wish you all the best. Yes. And Jamaica to be prosperous, you know? But right. I want to return, but I cannot return uh, some of the things that I've seen happening. Yes. You know, so I'm happy that someone like you is still advocating and being vociferous on issues yes. that concerns national interests. Yes. And let me ask you a question as, as a member of the diaspora, which is not necessarily focused where most diasporas are. You understand? But you're outside in a different uh, continent. Let me ask a question. Uh, what is your foremost concern in Jamaica? What if There are a number of things that we, we've listed that is going wrong in Jamaica. A whole heap of sectors in the society is wrong. But what concerns you the most, if you could fix one, and I know that's a very hard task. I know it is indeed a very hard task. You understand? But if you could fix okay. one. Okay. okay. I, will yes. just, I will give you, uh, okay. For example, you, you are currently speaking about health, right? Yes. I will tell you about my experience, both in Dubai and Saudi Arabia. Yes. Right. It's, it's the first time I, I actually, in countries like these, that I've, I went and I confused which doctor I should go to. The uh, doctor are just there sitting for patients to come. They're in terms of equipment. You know, everything is there. So I will try to fix the health sector first. One, uh, I have more doctors and I have more yeah, equipment. But the one that affects me most is the crime. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm very scared. You know, so the crime is the issue because when I can actually, I came to Jamaica in December and I could leave my door open and uh, you know, that's it. So I'm very scared after the Prime Minister has promised us that we um, could even leave our windows open and doors open. Yes. We haven't yet actually um, achieved that objective. That so was a tree card trick. Crime, number that, one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that was a tree card yes, trick. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, but I know that, you know, um, Jamaica has copy. You are a smart guy. Yes. Because as I said, I listen to the way how you dissect your information and yes. actually put it across that persons can actually, the layman can understand things that seems intricate, you know? And we, government is doing, is tricking the people. Yes. And I've also seen another trick coming where he is, uh, you, you, you observe the student loan, right? Yes. That's a trick now. That's a trick in order to get these young people who want to go to university. I said, okay, yes, it will be free. So he will capture that large population of young people. Let me, let, yeah, I agree so with you. So I agree with you. And there's a term, there's a better term suited for that thing. It is called political <laughs> vote grabbing exercise. Vote grabbing yes, yes, exercise yes, yes. because what he's doing, and let me tell you, they have no ideas of their own, you know. Because remember that for the longest while, the People's National Party, and even I myself, time after time over here, I've often said it that education is a key which opens many doors for families. You understand? And a whole heap of people out there want to go to university and tertiary education and get some tertiary education and not able to do it because their parents do have the asset and they're not qualified to stand as guaranteed. And listen to this because I've often said this several times and I know I sound like a scratch record when I say it, but repetition is the art of learning. They do have no rich auntie up a cherry garden and a rich uncle up a Narbrook for stand as shorty. Ever hear that statement from me yet? The students hear me say it all the while. The dev have no shorty up there. No, nobody for stand that shorty. So that's why most of them don't get no university and have to stand up with 15,000 jobs. The PNP has been advocating for education and, and, and for access to education because I remember they, Damian Crawford was saying that the PNP has a plan that for every family, if they become government, for every family, one person from the family would get to go to university courtesy of the state, which means that the government is pushing education and we need more access to education, my brother. You understand what I mean in this country? Um, there is another issue that you might not be cognizant of. Mm. You see, there is a lot of scholarship in the Jamaica topic. I was just lucky to cheat the system and manage to get a few scholarships out of it. But there's a lot of scholarship within the foreign affairs. But you know who get it? 
Support us. The rich guys, they are the one kids who actually get these scholarships, you know. Yes. There's a lot of scholarships that they offer Jamaica. A lot. Even the QH fund, they offer a lot of scholarships. But who knows about it? That is it. If you are not within the realm, you don't know. But the Ministry of Foreign Affairs have all these scholarships by these international and social countries. And they have access to those benefits and grants. And they don't go on some sort of campaign through the Ministry of Education to make this public knowledge available to people. Don't you see that this government, as the people from, from the American Teachers Federation, say that you have some people in some politicians in Jamaica who are deliberately undermining the education sector. Time and time and time again we see it come to fruition. And, uh, and what happened? When you do that, what do you think happened? All right. I saw a video where a young man was actually disrespecting, to some extent, um, on the wholeness. Yes. And he, he was saying that if he could put on, like, some suits, he'd go and hug up on the wholeness and whatever. Yes. But what you don't realize is that he's just trying to frustration, you know. And when persons start to get frustrated, it, then it becomes a catalyst for crime. Yes. You understand? So it... it, it they don't take action immediately. There's going to be serious issues, you know? Yes. I understand yeah, my brother. Very, very serious, but continue, continue to advocate for justice. And I will also try to, you know, spread the word and, you know, spread your program yes. across, uh, I mean, the diaspora. Yes. All right, my brother. Thank you so much for calling yeah. and big up yourself. All and all thank you so much, all right? To blessings to you. And if there's any okay. caller in Dubai and that part of the world, blessings to you and thanks for listening to Jamaica Hot Topic. It just goes to show that Jamaica Hot Topic listenership is far and wide, my viewers and subscribers. Jamaica's Hot Topic listenership is far and wide. And that is mainly because we speak truth and justice over here. We speak truth and justice and we bring the information in a way that it is not boring. We bring the information in a way that anybody can can identify and you understand and understand the information that is happening. And that is why people really appreciate this program. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, I'm going to be putting a next video on my screen. And before I get into the nation's business, because it is a hard topic to bear, because when you hear some things, my viewers and subscribers, because Devon a Republic himself. The Prime Minister said, Republic him, and him said, Jamaica must become a republic under FEM watch. It must become a republic and we can't escape it. Yes, I saw Devon and the Prime Minister say. Him said, Jamaica have to become a republic under FEM watch and you can't do nothing about it. Wait until I show you. I'm going to show it to you next. But my viewers and subscribers, before I do that, I want to ask you a question. Do you know the history of how Jamaica got its flag? Do you know to the 19... history, my viewers and subscribers, of how Jamaica got its flag? This is some information that sometimes we have to learn a little bit of information, students. You understand? And you know, say, over a topic, we're versed in how we deliver the news. You understand? Sometimes we bring excitement, sometimes we bring laughter, and sometimes we also bring education. So right now, I'm going to be bringing a bit of education to you, my viewers and subscribers. How many people in the class... Know how Jamaica got its flag. Well, I'm going to be showing you a short video, my viewers and subscribers. And it will explain to you. You understand? How, how uh, uh, Jamaica's flag came into existence. Alright, my viewers and subscribers. So this is a fact-finding information. I want you to pay attention and see if you can learn something out of it. Alright, let's go. 1975 to 1962, the flag went through many different iterations mostly stemming from its coat of arms changing over time. Prior to gaining independence, the government held a flag design competition where the winner's design would be used for the official flag of Jamaica. However, despite a large number of entries, the country could not decide on a winner, and as a result, the competition was scrapped. The government then attempted to create the design internally and eventually came up with a black, green, and gold flag with all colors running horizontally. This was later altered when it was mentioned that this design looked too similar to the flag of Tanganyika, and they made a slight tweet by turning the two gold lines into a diagonal cross. And that's how the... Did you know that, my viewers and subscribers? Did you know this information? Jamaican flag was made. How was the Jamaican flag made? In 75... To In my viewers and subscribers, did any of my students know how the Jamaican flag came into existence? 
I never know say so Jamaica flag come about. Did any of you know this information before my viewers and subscribers? Did any of you know this information? Let me play it back one more time, my viewers and subscribers. And I want you to pay attention where they said that they launched a competition in the country for somebody to design a flag. And you hear what them said? They could not agree. So it shows that from a long time, Jamaican have a problem agreeing. It shows from a longer time that the country and our forefathers and peoples before us, we had a long time agreeing and it is still the same up to today. Let us play back this and see if we can learn something and pay attention and listen to the part where they said they could not agree on, on the competition, the flag competition, and so they had to scrap it. Listen to it one more time. 1975 to 1962, the flag went through many different iterations, mostly stemming from its coat of arms changing over time. Prior to gaining independence, the government held a flag design competition where the winner's design would be used for the official flag of Jamaica. However, despite a large number of entries, the country could not decide on a winner, and as a result, the competition was scrapped. The government then attempted to create the design internally and eventually came up with a black, green, and gold flag with all colors running horizontally. This was later altered when it was mentioned that this design looked too similar to the flag of Tanganyika, and they made a slight tweet by turning the two gold lines into a diagonal cross. And that's how the Jamaican... But my viewers and subscribers, I want to ask you a question. Is which country name Tanganyika? A which country name Tanganyika? Tanganyika. Is that the same country as Tanzania? In my viewers and subscribers, I am wondering if this is the same. I'm wondering if this is the same something as Tanzania. I am wondering if this is the same country, my viewers and subscribers, as Tanzania. What country in the world is Tangan, Tanganyika? Could it be that it's the same country that is called Tanzania? It was one called Tanganyika, my viewers and subscribers. Janet Jones said, yes, I heard about that, but the not the part about Tanganyika. Yes, it's the first me I hear about Tanganyika, my viewers and subscribers. I have never heard about this Tanganyika. F. Parsley say Tanzania. Juliet Campbell say new to me. Scarpy Scarpy say don't, don't know. Maybe. Marjorie Miller say bless up a topic. One Dan say it's Tanzania. It did look like. Okay, a Tanzania. But I don't know why they have Tanganyika right here. So I don't know why they have that information. Chinese star say it could be Tanzania. Well, all right, students. Let me move on into some politics business right now. Let me get directly into the politics business because I know that enough of you love the politics. So, I am going to be showing you something from Brother Devon Page students. And guess what? I know you guys are going to begin to get upset. I know we know because guess what? Anytime we start showing Devon, the mood and the atmosphere change from pleasant and polite to angry and upset and hostility and frustration and oppression. And I am going to be showing you, my viewers and subscribers, somebody type, me don't want to type Republic, you know, I was going to ask you to type the word Republic. But I don't want to type the word Republic because Jamaica don't want no Republic. We don't want no Republic. Somebody type, no Republic in Jesus' name. Devon, take your Republic and carry it. Go put your wife or your picnic in the Republic. My viewers and subscribers, tell Devon, say we don't want no Republic. He must take the Republic and go put him wife and him picnic them in the Republic. Couldn't look here, students. Look on the screen here, so and look at Devon Page. A Devon Page is with the pan, and I want you to see for yourself a Devon you Devon Facebook page that a while ago I go over there, my viewers and subscribers, and a 58 people they pan Devon Page are watch him live. Somebody type 58. Uno Prime Minister Big Nose Devon is on a YouTube live. Devon is on a YouTube live, my viewers and subscribers. And a 58 people they pan Devon live. Somebody type 58. 58 people they pan Devon live, my viewers and subscribers. Fifty-eight people they pan Devon live. But look on your screen. Right here it says the Embassy of Jamaica, Washington, DC. Let's re let's connect. Road to Republic. Her Excellency Audrey Marks, Ambassador of Jamaica to the USA, and the Honorable, which Honorable, which part are you Honorable? And the Mala, the, the Marlene Malahu Fort, 
Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs. My viewers and subscribers, don't you see that Devon still plans him to go to him republic? Don't you see that Devon still plans him want to do the republic business in Jamaica, my viewers and subscribers? It look like they were really I forgot take. It looked like the PNP I forgot take the republic business to the court, my viewers and subscribers. It looked like just like how the PNP take Paula Lowell in tenure and Paula Lewin extension to court. It looked like it's the same way we have to go take this, 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 this republic thing to, 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 to court, my viewers and subscribers. And I want to ask you the question, students. Why is the prime minister so adamant to make Jamaica a republic? May I ask you a question, students? I'm one I want to call for me. The students are... Moderators, put up my number again for me now, please. I would love for somebody to call me and tell me and tell the students, why is it that the Prime Minister is so adamant to make Jamaica a republic? What is inside of a republic for him, my viewers and subscribers? When he, make, when he wants to make Jamaica a republic, is it a case like where you have the Republic of China and the Republic of North Korea and the Republic of Russia? In my viewers and subscribers... I wonder if it's that type of republic Devon want. Where you have the Republic of China. Yes, anybody know the Republic of China? Anybody know the Republic of China? I'm sure you've all heard of the Republic of China. When Devon say want to make Jamaica a republic, does he want to make Jamaica a republic to make it the Republic of China? The Republic of North Korea? Where you have a supreme leader? So you mean to tell me, my viewers and subscribers... I don't know, you know, I have to ask, you know, because anything with this Prime Minister, as crazy as it sounds, we've often find out that the crazy and silly things is what really come to fruition because there's no God of government like this government. So they are on the road to Republic. It's which road them a drive pan the pan the road go Republic. Are your road or my road them a drive pan? Is your road or is my road them driving pan? My viewers and subscribers may ask me if, I, if it's at the Republic of China. May I ask you know, my viewers and subscribers if it's the Republic of China and the Republic of and North Korea he mean when he said the Republic. That is what I ask you know, my viewers and subscribers. I hear nobody answer that. I don't hear nobody answer that, my viewers and subscribers. I don't hear nobody answer that. But students, let me go in at something else for Uno right now. No? Because this man right here, so somebody, you remember the water crisis, somebody type water. You know, say Devon tell you want to hear Devon. You want to hear Devon reason why we're having a water crisis, my viewers and subscribers. If you want to hear, type yes, teacher. Tell me. Tell me, my viewers, my viewers and subscribers. The Prime Minister brother Devon, he come out and him give a statement on him page as to why we're having the water crisis. Do you want to hear why I'm saying we have a water crisis, students? Type in the comments and say, yes, teacher, show away. He, every, my viewers and subscribers, we've all acknowledged that Jamaica in a water crisis, on a type water crisis. We all acknowledge that job, say Jamaica in a water crisis. And people say, oh, it is a, it is a, it is a manufactured water crisis, manufactured water crisis. And we know so wicked Devon knew about the water crisis, you know. Because months ago, implants him, I go give a black tank, you know, from last year, him want give a black tank. And I brought it over on this program and I said to him, what does Prime Minister Devon know why he want to give us black tank? What is it that he know why he want to give the Jamaican people black tank? And lo and behold, drought pan with the rotted cup. And it's them manufactured the drought. And I am going to show you tonight, my viewers and subscribers, the Prime Minister's response as to why is it we're having a, a drought. If you want to see, type in the comments and say, yes, a topic, show me. Show me, teacher. If you want to hear what the Prime Minister said, why we're having the drought, type in the comments and say, show me teacher. Because when you see this, you know, cost. When you see what the Prime Minister said, you know, cost my viewers and subscribers. When you see what the Prime Minister responds, why we're having the water crisis, you know, I go get mad students. You know, what I make up put it up on my screen. You know, get ready for, get ready for it, students. Get ready for listen to why the Prime Minister said we're having a, 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 a drought. Listen. 
Well, I see them look on the screen. Make a make sure you take Audrey off the screen. Look on this student. Look, look at Ufa face right here, sir. You see that person face right up here, sir? It's a Prime Minister Devon. But I want you to focus on this, students. Let me show you something. Yeah. Look up here, sir. You realize who for page this? When you realize this who for page with the pan? With the pan the page of brother Devon. Wicked destructive Devon. And Devon made a post four days ago. Somebody typed four days ago. Four days ago, Devon made a post, and I'm going to read for you. And please notice the section that I highlight in red. Please notice the section that I highlight in red. So my viewers and subscribers, Jamaica is undergoing a water crisis. People can't get water in them pipe, be them front and them behind. They can't flush them toilet. They can't get water to cook. They must fear by drum water and chuck water for 14000 and everybody concerned about the water crisis. And we ask the Prime Minister about the water crisis. Listen what the Prime Minister said because the water crisis. Let me read what he said. He said, him say, part of the water challenge affecting Redberry residents is theft. Somebody say theft. Theft. Part of the water challenge affecting Redberry residents is theft. Each time plans are laid and work is said to begin items are stolen depriving residents of access of water so the prime minister is telling you and me the big nose devon is telling you and me so you can't get no water because of theft somebody type theft for me i wonder if you mean to tell the jamaican people say so they can't get no water because you are your government thiefing up the money I wonder if you really mean to tell the Jamaican people because we know you're talking as Sykes. I we know you're talking a code that in a subliminals. Students, I want you to call me now. The man say each time plan him say part of the water challenge affecting Redberry residents is theft. Each time plans are laid and work is set to begin, items are stolen, depriving residents of, wa of access to water. Hear him. However, we are moving ahead with the work planned ahead, and all political representatives know this. A, word, a road which is a municipal road and is the main responsibility of the parish council led by them has not been touched. The estimate of fixing it is $400 million. $400 million. You may recall that 400 million, and listen to the part, you know, you may recall that 400 million dollars went missing from that very parish council in Manchester. So, students, I wanted to realize, oh, 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 I don't know what to say. This man is really a narcissist, you know. This man is really a devil in disguise, you know. My viewers and subscribers are a devil in plain sight, you know. You mean to tell me that Jamaican people are suffering because of the water crisis? And you're going to tell us, my viewers and subscribers, so them can't get water because every time a uh, uh, work set to begin, people are thief, the materials and the something. So if the materials are serious, why don't you guys safeguard and safe keep the materials? Students, I wanted to call me. Are you hear what I'm saying? I'm talking about saying $400 million was missing from Manchester Parish Council. Oh, 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 that come in place, student. Oh, that come in place, a $400 million missing from Manchester Parish Council. Oh, come him down, tell the people, I'm saying, him government thief in all of the money. When you talk to me, students, the man is saying that we can't get water because of theft. We can't get water. Yes, students, when you give him a red card. I love all my students, them bright, and I never have to tell them to give him red card. Lord, Sister Winnie, they make you run up back again. Welcome, Sister Winnie. We have Republican Barbados, right? Yes. But um, we have a president. Um, is Dame Sandra Mason. Mia Monkley is a leader. Um, so, what is... Um, what um, what his name big nose want yes. if he get a republic he will be the leader of the republic so you got to answer to him then you have the prime minister which will be his wife so what you say what you say if, you you, what you say, if the country become republic he might go be the president and his oh. wife are going to become prime minister yeah I want to write to yeah, the I want to you tell well, sister that's why you want to. No, that's say? why he wants to win. That's why he wants to win back again and then turn it into a republic. So he will be the leader of the... He will be the 
the, the president and the wife will be the leader. Oh, well, you students, you know, your sister Winnie has said, uh, sister Winnie is saying that if they've had... Hold a minute, hold a minute, hold a minute, hold a minute, and if the next term in the, the JLP loss and say another uh, J, the PNP win, anything the PNP bring to him, he can refuse it. Any, anything he can refuse it because he's the president, he's the, you, you, you got to answer to him. So he is going to be supreme leader. That's what he, so he's going to be supreme that's leader. What he, that's what he's trying to do. But republic is not that that you can, can vote for the e republic. Over here, we've got a president who is the. We have a prime minister. We have a. The, the, the president is 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 more important than the prime minister. You understand? But Winnie, she's leader, Winnie, she's the well on. Winnie, you must be mad to birdcage. No matter, I'm get me mad, Winnie. You mean to tell me, say, the man become, if Jamaica become republic, he might go become president and his wife become prime minister. Winnie, you must be mad to yeah. rat it up, Winnie. Winnie, you must be mad. Yeah. Then, then just, <laughs> listen to me. Winner, listen to me, Winnie. Then, 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 winner, then, listen to me, back. Winnie. Listen to me, if Winnie. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. If she win her seat and he win back and they re come republic, he can do that. And the stupid Jamaican will sit back and let him do it. Oh, so yeah. why are we killing up ourselves with the Jews? They don't care. From they get, as I told you, from they, they get the chicken back, or a bag of chicken, and um, some oil and some Chinese rice, they're quite happy the oil come from China. The oil don't come from America or Canada, China. That's why it, it, it burned black. When you're using the oil and you're cooking and it burns black, that's it. It come from China. China China send potato to Jamaica, onions to Jamaica, and yam. China is doing that now. Wolande, 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 Wolande. Where you say China sent to Jamaica onion and yam and put China? I say. And potato, you didn't know that. <laughs> Wolande, 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 Wolande. Me know said them I said no. Wolande, 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 Winnie, Wolande, Wolande, Winnie. Me not think that China them something that come from. Me not think that China. Me I think say a Dominica report. Wolande, Wolande. Listen to me now, Winnie. Me ask the students. Wolande, Winnie, Wolande, students. Sister Winnie is saying that the but where you say we get the potato and the onion. We keep potato and the onion and the you know we call it the scallion. You know, the, the, those things, they, if you go, if you look on China farming, they're doing it over there. And no, Winnie, but, Winnie, but me not think that China, then they come from. I think that Dominica Republic or some oh, from America or some other place, man. No, 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 China. That's why he wants to make the Chinese take over the farming development in Jamaica. He wants to do away the farmers. We well, don't know what's going on in Jamaica. You, oh, you, I don't know where you live. But you out that the Jamaica know they don't know. We think this they are making the farm run down. If they see beautiful land they're going and take it. Look at all the the aim this. Winnie, so Winnie the people well on the well on the well on the well on the Winnie, Winnie. People not believe you, can't nobody not know about that. Well on the students, I want you to type in the comments. Everybody will listen to the conversation. Have you ever heard anything? Because sister Winnie is telling us that sweet potato and skellion I must say onion that come from China. And I'm asking you students, don't pick up for me and don't pick up for she. May I ask a question? Have you ever heard anything about that before? Please type yes or no. Please type yes or no, sister Winnie, because I the first me, me, me hear that Winnie. Okay, then go and check with the farmers. Go and check where they buy any, where you think they buy any onion and things from. Students where type yes or no. Students type yes or no in the comments. You, you hear saying the onion or something that come from Jamaica. I don't know. We're just trying to see if there's an argument going around like that. Come on, students. So they type yes or no uh -huh. in the comments. Type yes or no, let me say. Type yes or no, students, let me say. We don't just type yes or no so we can find out there. They can't bring it here though. They can bring it from um, Guyana. They can bring it from Trinidad. They can bring it from the other West Indies country, but nothing from China like that coming here. They, you know, no, the Chinese growing but, onions, but, but big, because they give it chemical, big, big, big onions, big scallion, scallion I mean. Well, and we, everything, they're doing it in China. I have a friend in China 
But I can't call his name. Well, and when he said when he want to see the farming going on out there, that those crops only six months. So, you know, the, the weather in China is only six or eight months. The potatoes, are, they're growing the yellow potatoes. You know the one that look like a carrot? Yes. They're growing those things out there. We're not got the research. Well, and the Obedience sister when it. Research. Well, and the, the class seems splitting up because wally pa people are saying, no, them not, never hear that yet. But some people just start coming and say, yes, that's true. So, well, and I'm going to do one May poll. I, I am going to put up a poll. No, listen. Well, and the sister no, when it. Well, and when it. When it, when it, when it. Just hold Why on. Hold on, when it. Hold on. Just give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Let me close the first poll and start the next poll. All right. So, I'm going to close the first poll. Hold on for your point. The first poll that I did was to ask if, the, if, if you think the landlord went too far. Uh, 50, uh, 56% says no and 43% says yes. So 56% of people say no, the landlord never got too far. I'm going to be putting up a next poll. And this poll, I'm going to ask you, do you believe that Chinese, well, do or have you heard, that is it, have you ever heard, hold on a second, that Chinese... Our fruits, vegetables. No, all I know they're selling sweet potato. Um, Chinese vegetables Australia. are being and sold Australia. in Jamaica. And, and, and it's a yellow one, they're mostly um, we're doing it right now. Let me tell you, you know, they're going to sell it up where they keep it. Hold on, sister Winnie, sister Winnie, hold on, hold on, hold on, Winnie, hold on, hold on, I know you want to, but I love my structure the poll at the same time. Hold on. Students, I am putting up a poll here, and the question I'm asking in the, in the poll is this. Have you, you may attack, have you ever heard that Chinese-grown vegetables are being sold in Jamaica? Please click yes or no and participate in the poll. Please click yes or no and participate in the poll have you ever heard have you ever heard that chinese grown vegetables are being are being uh, sold in jamaica please click yes or no if you're here click yes if you're not here click no winnie back to your argument support your argument now winnie where did i say no well, do you know that you know where they um the farming you put you you can store the the, the, the products, like, what do you mean they call it? You know, you bring the farming stuff to a place and they can store it and it yes. costs longer. Yes. Do you know they're going to sell it to the Chinese? Do you know if the Chinese are going to get it? Well, on there, well, on there, well, on there, well, on there. You have a place when you have an AMC attack where you bring your produce, go there? No, no, they're going to sell it and is the Chinese going to buy it? In China, we're not buying, you know, they, you know, we owe, owe China, or Jamaica anyway, so they, to me, it's not buying, it's giving it to them. We don't, we can't pay up Chinese bill, what we owe, you know. Chinese Sis own Jamaica. Lord Jesus, Sister China Winnie. China own Jamaica. Sister Winnie, you come with a piece of judgment on the class as usual. You are one celebrity all over the world. You come for stun up the class. Listen to me now, Sister Winnie. So you are tell me... And tell my class, this Wallana man winning man met the point. The other day I played a clip over here. And I played it from the news and from Dr. Dayton Campbell, where he was saying the AMC, that is the agriculture place, and most of the senior people in my class only know AMC. Because I never know what AMC was. It was the other day over on this program, the students them started telling me about AMC. That is an agricultural place where you bring your produce and so forth. You understand? And I hear say, I saw an article come out in the news the other day, a report. And even Dr. Dayton Campbell was talking about that the government plans to privatize the place. And you're telling I us, we will have no winning man, winning, winning, we'll have no steam down, winning, and wait till your turn, no man, for make the well, conversation well, sweet, man. We'll have no man. We'll have no man, we'll have no. So you're telling us now, winning. So a Chinese plan for buy the place, a Chinese, they must sell out the place to. Are you winning? Anyway, listen, all I can say that. Um, Every shop in Jamaica, who own it? Who own all the supermarket? 
And not all of the roads. And not all of the supermarket. Them own some of the supermarket. They have some black people who own supermarket too, man. And some 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 where, white people. Where, where, where in Kingston? No, only Kingston, man. Yeah. So, yeah, no, you have people in Jamaica who own supermarket. I mean, you know some of them, but you mostly have a Chinese because that is the Chinese business. They're in wholesale goods and supermarket goods. That is mainly what Chinese take over. But you do have some black people in Jamaica, white people who are Chinese owners. I know that for certain. White people? I don't mind them owning it. But, but but it is mostly covered. The 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 the, 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 the way you call it now. The wholesales and the supermarket are mostly uh -huh. owned by the Chinese people. They mostly own it. But you do have black people and white people who also own it too. I know that for certain, Winnie. But the Chinese people own well, most of it. Well, that's that's fair enough. What I would you know what I miss when in, when I go down, I like to see in the supermarket. You know when you go. I like I don't go in the supermarket because when I go in this I don't see my people so I buy from the street. Yes. But you know, the, all we gotta do we got to keep our listen, Jamaica is a nice country and there's a crime rate and what we can get out in the Prime Minister, Jamaica will be back again. Jamaica is, is a country that is beautiful. Elsha Beach. Look, Elsha soon gone, you know. Nago Ed Beach, well, right now Nago Ed Beach is in a um, is in a a state me doing. That's soon gone too because that to get that big hotel they build there, and because of that hurricane we didn't have, it kind of mash it up. But Jamaica, we got some places that not touch yet, and Jamaica got some beautiful scenery, and I hope no one go and disturb the scenery. You know, it's beautiful. Now, the countryside was nice, but now the countryside is not as, it's coming like the town, or everybody running to the country, leaving the town. Yes. But Jamaica is a nice place to live. It's nice, it's only the crime. Yes. It's only the crime. People are afraid to come back home. Yes. And uh, if only they, they could get the people are bringing in the guns. We know the gun is coming in from Haiti. Yes. Because, you know, but once we can get control of the guns, you know, Start saving for and your the gold. corruption from the politicians. Don't forget that the corruption from the politicians and the and the, and, and the, the better the better services offered, an improvement in the services being offered, that is equally important to the people. Well, you see, the, if the police they get the proper pay. Yes. Lot of things would be do. The police don't get no pay. Can you imagine a policeman sometimes have to walk halfway and then take a bus? To go home to get to work, police should get top pay. Yes, just like the people, the nurses and the doctor, twenty dollars a day. Some workers are getting yes twenty US. It's a shame, but Sister Winnie. It's a huh? it's a shame. And but no, listen to me, Sister Winnie. But listen to me, Sister Winnie. The people them need to come out. They need to come out, Sister Winnie. Me go start a different subject before guess what? Come go. I wanted to touch strictly Devon and move off of Devon, but me touch pan Devon now with him <laughs> liar. Well, well, I know, Sister Winnie. Hold on, no. me touch pan Devon now because we know the water crisis. Are you hear why Devon say we not have no water because people are thief the equipment. Them are thief all of the pump and something and all kind of something. <laughs> but you know, you know, see the man wicked and lie, Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget that shipping off water to China, you know, and they're selling the water to the ships. Okay, I can understand the ship need water, but the Chinese are buying the water and take it back. Because Start America saving for your golden nice years with yes. a surgical lifestyle approved retirement. And they use it as well to for the um the mining is in um in Saint, um, Saint Elizabeth. Yes. That's where they siphoning the water too as well to go to St. Elizabeth to do the mining. Yeah, but guess what? The people them too quiet though. The people them not the people them are suffer and them not come out. But me go show you where the people them are demonstrate for Dan dead in a Spanish town and see people black road and all kind of something. Now, me go show you now when the sister win it. Students wanna eat the light button for me now. Wanna eat the light button for me, students. And please remember you can bless up the Zell and the cash up. Students remember that, you know, if you have a little thing and you want to send a contribution to teacher. Eh? Because they don't look after the people. they don't look after the people. And that's the why the, the, the politician they care for the people and do what they gotta do. There won't be no done. 
So you hungry, you go to the diner, you say, hungry. You know, you're going to give you something to eat and send your children to school. Let it be dance, put the children to school, you know. So I'm ask so a question. Do it, do so I'm ask a question. Huh? You support the people for Black Road for the Dan Dead? You support that? No, no, I don't support it. And, and all I guess is, that's it. What they should do it is to block the road for let the government do what they're supposed to do. Not for the Dan. But what I say, I can sympathize with them. Yes. Because the Dan help them. I understand. I understand. They and know they, the Dan. And, they, and, and if they could block it for Dan, they could block it for the government. And block it for themselves, for better hospital, <laughs> for better education. Oh, for Chevron and Devon oh, to resign. I'm going to show you how them block the road. I'm going to show you how beer or gunshot a fire in a Spanish town and place a bundong and KFC window mash out. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show the wall. I'm going to show you now. Uh, uh, okay, then you have a good night. And to the guests, yes. everyone there, good night. Have a pleasant Sunday when it comes. All right, Sister Winnie. Blessings to you. Thanks for calling. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, the people them the one demonstrate for them right. But the Dan dead and them go out go demonstrate. Sister Winnie said them know the Dan and when them hungry them can't go to the Dan. And the Dan give them something to eat. So that's why them demonstrate. That's what Sister Winnie says. Student, I'm going to be playing Spanish Town right now. I will not go see gunshot a fire, all sort of something, a road a bundong, all kind of something. Students, I'm going to be showing that. But please remember, students, that you can send a little contribution to the class, all right? You know, if you have something and you'd like to bless up the class and send uh, a contribution, I would greatly appreciate it. You can do so by sending a Zell. If you want to send by Zell, the Zell information is 347-234-9320. The Zell is 347-234-9320. The name on the Zell is Kayan. And the cash up is dollar sign Jamaica at topic. Dollar sign Jamaica at topic. You will see one JHT flag coming there. And you can also use a, a cash up dollar sign First Lady KP, that is one ST for first Lady KP, and the name on that is Kayan, all right? Anything you send for me, students, I would greatly appreciate it, okay? Please and thanks, just remember that you can support the teacher, all right? We can't get no cash up now, nothing, so they hear me, no, no super chat. I mean, I get none from YouTube students. So if you can bless up the program, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much to all who can give. Students, you know, look what going in a Spanish tone and look what the people in Black Road for. Look where the people in Black Road for look. April 20. Tensions are high in St. Catherine after the fatal shooting of the alleged Don for top banks in Spanish Town last evening. And while the police are on high alert, some residents are bent on causing mayhem, blocking sections of the town and allegedly threatening violence against the police. At news time, normalcy had returned and 22 people taken into custody. CVM's Nico Lewis tracks this developing story. Spanish Town, void of its usual cacophony of bustling streets and commercial life. Saturday Look there, you see it? KFC window must shout. Somebody type KFC window. Somebody type KFC window. See the KFC window, the people in must shout. See the big hole in the window there? KFC window, the people in must shout for sure them upset. So them a mash dunk place and a bun dunk place. But they now nah do it when the wicked government of Jamaica oppress them. Them now do it when wicked Shevana, Shevan, Devana, Shevan oppress them. Them a mash down KFC window. Look there. Morning, virtually a ghost town for hours. Cooling down operations in some spaces after angry residents and alleged gangsters set fire to nearly everything that could blaze. Look there. Hours after police. Uno look there. Place bond down firefighter for come and spray was. Firefighter for come and spray was it mean the people in Black Road to them Black Road for the Dan, but now nah, Black Road for truth and justice for Jamaica. I understand that the 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 the, 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 the dance that is, is controversial. But nonetheless, my viewers and subscribers, pay attention to what I go on here, so. killed Sheldon Walters, also known as Termite, the alleged Don for top banks in the town. Sand commercial life Saturday morning, virtually a ghost town for hours. Cooling down operations in some spaces after angry residents and alleged gangsters set fire to nearly everything that could blaze. Hours after police killed Sheldon Walters, also known as Termite, 
the alleged don for top banks in the town. The deceased, who recently tied the knot on the north coast, is no stranger to the police. It's partly why some of those rebelling are furious about his death Friday evening. It's the women and children who were out in their numbers when our news team visited the troubled space. Last night after eight, I see it. I drive out right at church. By the time I drive out, you see one plane car drive down, and you see jump out jeep drive down. He turn and give them way and him jump out in car and surrender. And when we reach up to us, he said, turn back, turn back, turn back, the excitement. So we are turn back, the police say, who that, who that, who that run? And just start fire, be a shot, 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 non-stop. Shot non stop, non stop. Say, look a girl, that be a stone, they're feeling. And they come out, they're jamming out here, so they're jamming out here, so. He might be pointing at you, so what do you do over here, so? And he might say, I'm a family, I'm a come to a go, me a go, you know, daddy. Same time, he call it a lock off, he didn't like, up until the dark. Lock off, then, when they lock off, then, like, they kick off, they put off, they grow. When they kick off, they put off, they grow, we start here, be a shot. All of them pick them up with them about shot. All we have to do is pick me and how many them are still able to shot them. And then dry, come up here, sir. Dry, see blood here. Dry, come up here, sir. See blood there. Right there, sir. Right there, sir. We keep going. Leaked internal communique suggests the police are on high alert. See it? Road block. I just have shown you the road block, you know. Somebody type road block. Me just a show on the road black. That's all me a show on no? All right. Urging officers off duty to maintain a low profile and those on duty to exercise extreme vigilance. Social media was also buzzing and one source claims... Road black. You know, see that? Look back on this again. Road black. Look back road black. You know, look. Road black. Exercise extreme vigilance. Social media was also buzzing, and one source claims gangsters were even searching private vehicles for police or even police lookalikes. Meantime, it's a fiery baptism for the newly minted head of the St. Catherine North Police Division, Superintendent Hopton Nicholson, who assures things are under control. As at 11 a.m. today, Saturday, April 20th, 2024, the police managed to clear all roadblocks that were mounted along major thoroughfares in the Spanish Town area. The police were ably assisted by members from the Jamaica Defense Force, the Jamaica Fire Brigade, as well as operatives from the National Solid Waste Management Authority. Uh, members of the security forces will continue to maintain high visibility presence in and around the Spanish Town area. Two people of interest have so far been detained among several others following the protests. During a number of public order activities, 22 persons were detained and transported to the Spanish Town Police Station. One of those persons who were detained is a person of interest in a murder committed over two years ago. And another person is a person of interest in a recent shooting. Nico Lewis, CVM News. Meanwhile, a man has been shot dead by police in a confrontation in Central Village early Saturday. The deceased has been identified. As so, you know, see that my viewers and subscribers, dear, you see that by your screen, my viewers and subscribers, I want to show you something else. You know, wait. 1975 to 1962, the we flag went through many else. different so iterations, you know, mostly stemming else. from its coat of arms changing over time. Prior to gaining independence, because people are saying that the man died controversial, my viewers and subscribers. People are saying that the man know police, them know the man. People are saying that the man know police, and people are saying that the man normally pay off the police, them. But most importantly, people are saying that the man just married, somebody type just married. People are saying that and just married to a Canadian citizen and a plan for change him life. Them say and I go a foreign, my viewers and subscribers. Are you hear the residents say the police kill the man in a cold blood, my viewers and subscribers. But I want you to listen, students.
Because we need to listen, you know. We need to listen. This is a section where we need to listen. I'm going to show this one while I'm going in a Spanish town. Well, I'm going to and subscribers. Let me take Wicked Devon now for the screen. Come on for the screen, Wicked Devon. When I'm going to show them, I'm going to show them what I'm going to show them. on. Hit the like button, students. Come on, bring the likes to 500 for me, students. When I hit the like button, students. That's right, Shining Star. Shining Star, you know, say me here, I think I like as I say, you bring it to 500 or 500. I see you typing in the comments. Come on, students, you know, bring the likes to 500, man. Bring the likes to 500, students. Oh, God, what me just do now? What are the students? Yeah. 20. Well, on the students. All right. See what I want to say now? I'm going to show you what I want to go in a Spanish town. Look at students. I'm going to show you what I want to go in a Spanish town. Well, on students. See what I want to go in a Spanish town. And look, students. When you type Spanish town, let me make sure you dry it out so you can see some more. Well, on the students. And look here. See what I go on a Spanish tone as to them. Make sure I make gonna see it good, yes? Look what I go on a Spanish tone as so watch your first video, student. When you look when you realize what I go on as a look there. Look on the screen, student. Look what I go on as a tire bun, things a bun. Tire in a road, chair in a road, office chair, fridge, everything. When you look what I go on as a look on the first clip. Super. No taxi in our own roadblock. Beer, beer blockage and no taxi in our own beer strike and things super. So I don't know where each other is in the morning and my father. It's kind of the reason I say, yo, I reach late. I think so maybe I'm going to get taxi, but a long time out there, you know, my father. I'm going to play back the video one more time. And I'm going to show you, say, yes. The damn that was controversial and them upset. But Jamaican people black road for what they want to black road for. I am just showing the evidence to you that Jamaican people, when them fed up, them black road for what hurt them and what them want to black road for. I'm just showing you the evidence. Let me play this one more time and move on to the next clip. Super. No taxi in our own roadblock. Beer, beer blockage and no taxi in our own beer strike and things super. So I don't know where each other is in the morning, you know, my father. It's kind of the reason I say, yo, I reach late. I think so maybe I would get taxi, but a long time out there, you know, my father. I'm putting up the next clip, students. I'm going to put up the next clip. Hold on, the students. I'm wanting to call my students and tell me, don't you see that Jamaican people black road for what they want black road for? But look on the clip here, my viewers and subscribers. In this clip, you got ear oh shot a fire and the people them just stand up normal. You got ear oh shot a fire and the, the man him just stand up normal. Watch a students. Listen to this clip here, students. You know, listen to this clip here now. Listen to this clip now. Listen to this. One more time. You know, see it, students? Jamaican people, them do what them want to do when it matters to them. One no matter to them, them do come out for students. So when you hear the people them attack, if them did not suffer under the government, you would have definitely know. Me would have know, and the world would have know. That's why I've said it time and time again, my viewers and subscribers, that most of the people them are right. But it it brings into question, my viewers and subscribers. 
it brings into question is the Jamaican police are for hire? Are they walking around and killing people just like that? My brothers and subscribers, I wanted to listen to some bad people judgment. I'm going to make a listen to some, so, some, some bad talk, you know, some bad judgment. I want you to listen to this student and pull your ears together for me now. Oh, I, I want you to listen to this student on the wall on. I want to listen to this excitement as student on the wall on. Yeah, man, listen to this excitement, student. Don't listen to this excitement up on the screen. I want you to listen to this excitement on your screen, student. Don't hold on a second before I put up the excitement. Don't hold on the students. Don't hit the like button, students. Come on, bring the likes of 500 for me there, please. Me want to ask you a question, my viewers and subscribers. Are the police... Because I need enough to see something, my brothers and subscribers. Are the police in Jamaica for hire where them just come and kill people? So, because people, you hear the girl them talk and say the man never have nothing. And when them did it, they say all police are fire shut off at the man, the picnic. Who want the justice system for changing at Jamaica? Talk the truth, no students. I wanted to listen to something while I put up this student. I remember to hit the like button. When you bear with me one quick second, students. Before we go into something else, because we are gonna go back to Devon after this. On the whole, on a second, students, April twenty. Well, on the students, yes, man. On the hit the like button. I want you all to listen to this excitement. Then now, listen to this excitement, my viewers and subscribers. All right, let me see. We can put our topic right here, so put you over here, so and cut you right here. So yes, students, listen to this excitement now. Listen to this excitement and tell me what you think about this a drama. Listen to students, listen to the excitement and listen carefully. Because people are saying that police killed the man in a cold blood. People are saying that police not to kill the man. On your screen is you can't see the man. The man just get married to a Canadian citizen. Just get married to a Canadian my citizen, my viewers and subscribers. Could it be that at the that time, enemy them send police for come and kill him. I don't know, but students listen to this excitement and tell me what they think. Listen up. I saw where persons were saying that a seat not kill termite, soldiers, etc. etc. No, it wasn't seat or soldiers who killed termite, it was police officers from the St. Catherine North Division, the same officers in Spain Town. That is why. Men from top banks are planning to shoot up Spain Town Police Station. That is why cops are on the alert and looking for what is to come. Because everybody in Spain Town knew who did the shooting, who killed the termite. These same cops, termite knew. These same cops collect money from termite. Students, I want to know, listen to the excitement, you know, because the police, them know, say, the bad man and the rest of people, them plan to shoot up the station. Listen to the excitement. Also, thick man. They're like bodies. Now, these same cops went to termite to call it money. But in disguise, they went to take him three points. Now, termite was planning to Leave the badness, leave the damn ship to Haggis, his second in command, his right hand. And remember, last week, Termite got married to a Canadian resident. So Termite was looking to get his papers in order to go away, to live overseas, and end his life of badness. Now, based on information, Termite was giving money to men who are lying to the Tisha Miller's faction. Men who are still... I'm sorry for intervening in a studio, but I'm just assure that there is corruption in all places of society. The police, them corrupt to them, corrupt. And the police are for hire, them will come and take your three pints. They said police, where you see a road, where you see officer, you know. And him want to obey him, you know, the said police will come take a three pints if them pay him. Yes, if them pay the police enough money, him said when they come take a three pints, then how can the country be better? 
You know, answer no. How can the country be better where those who are supposed to serve, particular reassure them? Said one beat out your cloth and take a three pints when people pay them. Talk to me, students. In the streets, money and the style. That is why the men who are lying to the Tisha Miller's faction who are still in the streets were not pressuring termite or raging war after him. They were directly planning to go after Daddy Badness. Daddy Badness found out I'm never like that. So program ran. Remember, Daddy Badness was the same alleged man who ran program and the clansman who them called Barber and he was killed in Lake Spain. Now, one of the cop who was there is said to be Tipman's killer friend. When our Tipman won program run, that same police officer is ready to do the job. Now, not here to defend termite or top banks men, but justice must not only split one way. Justice must be done in two different ways. If you're going to kill one Dan, get rid of one Dan, while leave the other Dan breathing. That is why Spain Town is filled with corruption between police officers and gunmen, politicians and gunmen. And it seems as if it's not going to stop anytime soon. Now, based on information I said before in previous videos, that the badness was the alleged one who said that he wants top banks as his own turf. Now, Termite got married. Papers are looked after. Why would he end up in a shootout with the police when all he wants to leave the danship, leave the life of crime? Them know a long time. Them are prim long time. But you know what's going to happen? It will not be an all out war. No. Between top banks and tie spin. Because Haggis never liked Tickman from day one. Never liked to see Termite working with Tickman. Because Tickman, daddy badness, cannot be trusted. Is a personal love run program. Yes, man. Top banks men knew who killed them done. And they also know who run the program. Where you think there are plans to shoot up the station? Because they know who do it. How can they right now sit and watch and hope and pray that the killing of termite don't end up into an next clans versus one other war where we see top banks going up against Thai Spain and you know Haggis this Nago slide them kill him done this won't slide now that is going to take up Dan ship for top banks right now speeding to next People are looking, lurking, and wondering what next. Because people are fearful of an all-out war that can turn into, as I said before, a clans versus order all over again. Now, based on news information in traditional news media, says that it was a shootout. After the smoke was clear, termite was cut down. But in the streets, it was no shootout. Termite knew who the police officers were. I said before, a police officers who him deal with from a regular basis. When he come on to these corrupt cops, going to collect money from him. You know, so I said corrupt cops? Yes, corrupt cops. 
collected money from him. You know these dons pay the cops to not pressure them and let their operation flow. But they came to kill him directly. He was warned by other vloggers. Big up yourself, my view TV. You warn him and tell him, say, he might get slapped with a day or two before the news drop that Termite was murdered. You know, many people in Jamaica do understand how corruption is big in the island of Jamaica when it comes on to politicians and criminals, cops and criminals. The underworld, the underbelly, the dark world, the criminality, corruption is big. And many persons underestimate. Many persons, many Jamaicans live in a delusional manner and don't realize say, corruption. Corruption run Jamaica. Corruption run criminal activities. Corruption run police force. Corruption run government. Corruption run everything in Jamaica. And if there is no corruption, Jamaica cannot survive. As a matter of fact, Jamaica will go on life support if corruption is removed, which it won't. It's hard to, because it's been embedded in Jamaica's culture, badness. When it comes down to criminals, they will corrupt cops and corrupt politicians. So now stay there, turn a blind eye. Stay there acting blind and don't realize what's going on in the streets of Jamaica when it comes down to badness. My brother subscribers in the ear where the man say when you hear what the man said, the man said corruption is embedded in Jamaica. Do you agree with him? The man said if say Jamaica if corruption stop Jamaica I go go on life support. My brother subscribers, do you agree with this man? Do you agree with this statement from this man? I wanted to listen back to the last part of the statement, students. I hit the like button for me now. Please hit the like button for me, students. I want you to listen to this and call him. How can the country be better when the police, them who are supposed to serve, particular reassure, I collect money from bad man and them same one will kill you? Listen with the man as a student and tell me if you agree with him one more time. Listen to this. Listen to the party of my viewers and subscribers. Listen to this, yeah. And you hear what the man said? The man say a blagger warm the dan and tell him say them they go kill him. The man say a blagger my view TV warn him couple days ago and tell him say them I go kill him. And look at this. The criminality, corruption is big. And many persons underestimate. Many persons, many Jamaicans live in a delusional manner. And don't realize say, corruption. Corruption run Jamaica. Corruption run criminal activities. Corruption run police force. Corruption run government. Corruption run everything in Jamaica. And if there is no corruption, Jamaica cannot survive. As a matter of fact, Jamaica will go on life support if corruption is removed, which it won't. It's hard to because it's been embedded in Jamaica's culture, badness. When it comes down to criminals, they will corrupt cops and corrupt politicians. So now stay there, turn a blind eye, stay there acting blind, and don't realize what's going on in the streets of Jamaica when it comes down to badness. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, do you agree with the man? Do you agree with the man, my viewers and subscribers? The man said corruption run everything in a Jamaica. And it's true the man is talking. True the man is talking, my viewers and subscribers. True the man is talking. Corruption run everything in a Jamaica. And students, I want, I'm going to let you listen to something. I'm a, why you, I want you to look at another set of corruption. Or just talk about badness, corruption with bad man and police. Well, me, I'm going to make you listen to one of the corruption. Students, I want you to listen to the Prime Minister and, and Matthew Samuda. Him. Listen, listen to them too, you know, students. So, now, hold on. Hold on, the students. So, they hit the like button for me there. 
me, I go play something for no with them two hypocrites. I don't know what I'm students. So I hit the like button for me there. Hit the like button for me there, students. I make my play on Because the water shortage are gone. And instead of them come out, come tell you the truth about the water shortage. Devon, I come tell you foolishness. I want you to listen what them are going to tell you about the water shortage now. Listen what them have to say about the water shortage, my viewers and subscribers. And tell me, say, if them are not the corruption in a government too. You hear the man tell about corruption in the police force. Say the police them used to collect money from the bad man. You hear the man just tell you a while ago and corruption is plaguing Jamaica left, right and center. The man say if Jamaica come off of corruption, if corruption stop, Jamaica go go for life support. And I true him attack. Students, we want to listen to this one you now. This one that him claim say my match is about the water business student. Me want to listen to Matthew Samuda. He might talk about the water business. He a wicked devon. I talk about the water business to them. I want to listen to him. Listen to him very carefully, student. Listen. My way here from chairman of the NWC in opposition leader of the Senate. Comments made from a community of Redberry. That community has 55% coverage in terms of pipe coverage and water supply. Mr. President, the designs are done to do the following 45%. But in all the discussions of the water frustration, former chairman who should know, that area has a particularly, one of the highest areas actually in parish of theft, and that has actually derailed the project twice before, even at predating me, in terms of breakage of the system and constant repairs. So the money goes into repairs when you've done the scoping for the project. The former Minister of National Security didn't encourage in that video anyone to sign up with the water commission and pay their bills and to report theft where they saw it he also didn't discourage he didn't discourage residents from blocking a national highway as a former minister of national security over water that is being impacted by theft in that space i was particularly disappointed when i saw the video mr president the other the other interesting thing about an area called redberry is that the road though not my area. The road complaint, Mr. President, is about a municipal road. The last time I checked, that municipality has been led by that side for a prolonged period and nothing has been done to the road. The full estimate of road work in that area is a funny number. It's approximately $400 million. So if they hadn't a facilitate, rather, you know, if they hadn't had theft at the municipal council of $400 million, they could have fixed all the roads for the people in Redberry. But however, Mr. President, this notion that no one has visited, former Minister Warmington visited the community, it's important to note that the first phase of upgrades to that roadway will be undertaken at approximately $100 million and we expect the tender to be published next week as per previous commitment by the Member of Parliament after commitment and allocation made by former Minister Warmington. So he is pointing fingers at the PNP say say under most of the PNP watch or whosoever watch the uh Manchester Parish Council which is governed by the PNP say four hundred million dollars missing and that is why the people them couldn't get water. You see all them people are hypocritical and corrupt you are talking about four hundred million dollars are missing. What about the billions where your prime minister miss up? What about the $1.6 trillion that was split between the two ministries, the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Health and the Office of the Prime Minister? What about the $695 billion? And them people are responsible for the corruption in the country, you know? Them people are responsible for the corruption and the water shortage. So, you know, sometimes in politics you call for something you already know is going to happen to give the impression to citizens that you had some role in this. But... The water in the area, I left the team looking at the list of projects and capital works for that area over the last 30 years to see if we could find any works in this area because this problem has been a prolonged one. If the former chairman of NWC had ever signed off any works for South Manchester, I know this, chairman had, this former chairman had. But I'm not saying you never do it. I just saying I don't find any yet. So if you signed off any capital works for South Manchester as chairman, I would love to see them to see what was the benefit of that because I don't know of any.
series of comments that I heard. Come off of the TV. My viewers and subscribers, him come on the TV I tell we one bag of fat in our ears. That's all I'm doing. You know? All I'm doing walk and tell people a bag of fat. Him and him Prime Minister. Then him go come tell people, say, I wait near him there. A thief make what? A unwa the thief. A the thief. A unwa the thief make people not have no water. See ya? Look on the screen again. Look on the screen again. Part of the water challenge facing Redberry residents. Mosina Manchester is that each time plans are laid and work is set to begin, items are stolen. Now, who knows steal out the things them and thief out the money and thief out everything. And students may want to listen to Wicked Liar Deva because he may go tell you know where, what he has been doing in your country for the last four years. I may want to listen to this here. Yeah. You might go tell you know, what good he been doing for doing for your country for the last four years. You know, listen to the wicked. I want you to listen to the wicked, my brothers and subscribers, because he might go tell you what good he been doing for the last four years. You know, listen to this uh, excitement, students. I hit the like button for me there. Listen to this excitement from wicked liar Devon. And the people them won't come out, come vote him out. And the people them won't come out, come black right time gate. A right time gate them for go black and burn the tire. Right time gate. One hundred students. Wanna hit the like button, the students, and bring the likes to five hundred. Seven more people hit the like button for me, students. Seven more people hit the like button, and remember that you can bless up the cash up and the Zelm. All right, my viewers and subscribers. If you want to send a contribution, please remember you can do so. Wanna hold on? Want to listen to Wicked Devon? Listen to the wicked way I'm saying been doing for the last four years. Listen to the wicked. Done is to build sustainability. I remember in 2011, someone said to me, you're talking about managing foreign exchange rate and growth. That can yam. Meaning to say, proper economic management, growing the economy, are not things that are of any value to people who are poor and suffering. That is the greatest mistake, the greatest error that... The poor, suffering people of Jamaica could even think to allow to become part of your political psyche and the political economy. There is no other way to address poverty, to get your children into school, to get you the housing, to improve your security and your health care, unless we fix our economy. Those who want to devalue the performance of the government and getting the economy right are doing you no favors because their intention is to get into power without having the wherewithal because they can't manage the economy to deliver benefits like these to the people. And I believe that we are at that stage where we have shown the Jamaican people that we are able to manage the economy to give sustainability to the interventions. We are not You hear him say? He might talk about, do, about, about who won't get in a power. Why well, wouldn't I get rid of that wicked old crisis money? I'm mean, hear what else he might tell with his students. Hold well, on. What has this government been doing for the last uh, almost nine years we have been in power? The first thing we have done is to build sustainability. I remember in 2011, someone said to me, You're talking about managing foreign exchange rate and growth. That can yam. Management, growing the economy are not things that are of any value to people who are poor and suffering. That is the greatest mistake, the greatest error that the poor, suffering people. And the government has to consider very carefully how we leverage. Hi, I'm. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So, no call me. Call me, my viewers and subscribers. Anybody want to call you and make a talk? Come on, students. It's time for you to call me now. Call me and talk to me. The wicked man I say the reason why we not get water, why everybody not get water, especially the people them down in the country. Anybody from in the country want call me and talk about the water business? The man said the reason why we not get water because them a thief this and them a thief this. Come on, students, when you give me a call, 8765 Or if there's any topic what you want to talk about, give me a call. I banya no you did say you have something to tell me about Wagwana Calabar. At Ibania, call me and tell me about Calabar business. At Ibania, what about the Calabar business?
Come on, Ibania, what you have to say about color bar? Hold on a second, my viewers and subscribers. Let me see if I can find something right here. So, hold no, on a second there. Hold on a second there, student. Bear with me one quick second there. Hold on a second with me, the students. One second there. Bear with me one quick second there, students. Lord Jesus, I wish I could find this here now. Hold on a second there, students. I don't think so far I'm gone, you know. Hold on a second, students. Hold on a second. Yes, good night. Welcome to the program, Richard. What's going on? I am here now, my brother. Blessings to you. Welcome to the program. I'm a hold on the students. Blessings to you. Hold on the Richard. Hold on the students. I soon talk about the excitement we are going up at the labor right meeting tomorrow. Because meeting are going up there tomorrow. I'm here saying I'm going to challenge Devon. We're going to talk about that. Yes, Richard, a long time. I'm going to call the program. What are you doing, man? How are you doing? I'm there, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you something when I reach my boy. You see, Joe, you have to talk about Devon team, man. The DPC, you know, just make your own. You see, man? Yes. But you have a chance to talk to me now. What are you doing with you now? What are you doing? You remember me telling about me baby mother of the hospital with us? Yes, I remember your baby mother situation, yes. Yes. Yes, I'm going to tell you. 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 Yes, I remember you said that. Over a supermarket. I remember that. Yes. Anyway. The, the supermarket, they call me in a general and tell me to them have a thing to give her. So I call her mother and bring her over there and tell her, say, Sir, she named Sharon, and I call her Sharon. She said, Sharon, it's by law, the administrative general, and then stop you and go and give me half of the money. And give the pitting them the next half between the three of them. Yes. And we don't want any. So you see, this 780,000 land that they're going to get, we want you to split it in three for the kids then and put it in a um, fixed deposit. So when each one of them reach 18, they can get the money to do what they want. Yes. I um do I say something wrong to her? No, that's a very wise decision. Wise decision that you say, my brother. In, in reality, yes. and the woman take the money, send six hundred thousand dollars America to her two daughter. She up the rest of money to her grandchildren. The man don't give my baby mother kids them any of the money. Saying that her daughter and father is investing this for them. I'm telling you, I didn't know that you're crazy. I'll get lying on me you know, and chatting off them more, but who them going to take away my baby from me you now? You know, I have to go a topic. I have to go over the law line because I work at the Ministry of Justice. Print the child custody and guardianship half. Subsection 3 and shoot it to them, do it and give it to them. And go for the, the police and take my child from them. And then telling me all type of crap when they're going to get lie. And if I tell them to save them money, because there's no way in the world a liar or a judge going to give you custody of my child and I'm alive. How are you really at tell me, Chad? How are you really at tell me, sir? Then I saw the then I saw the mother in law she wicked. Yeah. Mother like she call you and explain to you what she have done. And you see that you see when time people don't have a knowledge of certain things in general, they feel like they are in power. She are telling me that she grandson never married her daughter and me and her daughter lived for nearly twenty years. And I'm telling her that sure. Check yourself. After five years, the last year, come on now. If it was me in that situation, my family would have given you everything because of the kids. Then. You see me? 
ولا ما سكت. شو جسر شو واشين ماشين شو عن everything but yes what in general. I don't buy nothing. I buy everything for my kids then. Right? So when she talk, I just picture all the all the receipt that I purchased things with and send to her phone. And let you know. But listen to me, you see the name them on the receipt. I I buy them in my name and write my kids your name on the receipt as well. No, 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 so no, 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 no. Well on the Richard, may I have to stop you. Students signing sign to other students asking the class. This is Richard. To all of the students who were in the class a long time, this is Richard. Richard is a gentleman who called the program and expressed a situation that he was going through. He has a baby mother and, you know, uh, they were having the, a child together, a baby be, being born. And he was saying that the baby was born and after the baby born, the mother died down by the hospital. And it was very suspicious because they said that the mother died, the baby born must be either two regular push out birth and then one was saying C-section and there were very uh, conflicting arguments and we were over here was talking to Richard and most of us was giving him some encouragement. I gave out him number, maybe a couple of people call him and bless him up and maybe, you know, just, just maybe encourage him or something. I think I must have shining inside somebody else, somebody else alone did call him still. But anyway, Richard was explaining to us, my viewers and subscribers, that his baby mother was supposed to get some money from our workplace. And to finally get the money. And Richard have... How many kids you have with the, with the girl we pass off, your baby mother? How many kids you have with her, Richard? Three. So you and the, and the girl that pass off had three kids together. And you mean to tell me that yeah. the, the grandmother get the money. And instead of the grandmother put the money down for the children. Them, you mean to tell me that she take the 700000 and send money gang or pitney them a farin and then when she done she go tell her say she want bed and dress her out of your house a topic listen to me now so where you yeah, forget me, so where you want and so where you and your pitney forget yes. where the pitney them for sleep yes listen listen let me tell you something in general no I look nobody for come from my side in a general and nobody for sorry for me you know but you see, I am a person that you see, if you come to me with foolishness, I yes. will never stand and argue with you. I just walk away because you know why I walk away? The lack of knowledge. Yes. And you're going to cause me to get done so I can cuss you. Yes. So, I'm not sure you have a point that is so critical that the mother-in-law should have looked into this. You see, when I meet my baby mother general, yes. I have a son that is three months old with her next woman. And I meet her, she was three months pregnant. Not for me. She was three months pregnant. And I bring her in pregnant and be with her until she have baby and thing. I never slept with her until her daughter that she have was eight months old. And they always think it's my child. So the first child that I am telling I didn't know that she have three kids from me is actually two, but I accept the first one and my name and everything she's in. Yeah, good so mate, you know. When and and let me tell you this my my view. I made so much sacrifice for that little girl. I go to work and I eat crackers and coffee for months, not days, months, just to let her achieve her CAT subject, just to let you go to school. I deal with her just like when I bring my kids to go to shopping, I tell them, take up what they want. I said, take up what you want as well. I am not going to choose for you. You mm. choose what you want. You're not treat her I deal with her like a dad. Same way, nothing missing. But when you try to rob her, I am going to step in. As a grandmother, you're trying to rob her. No, you're going to tell her that your mother dead and him is not your father. But guess what my... Um, a topic. A topic. A topic. Guess yeah. what? You see, when she was 16 year old, I sit her down and tell her everything. So you see, when them tell her that the other day, it doesn't shake her. Because I know how to deal with kids and I have sense. I know that some point in time people are going to tell her the truth. So I make sure to tell her when she was 16. Yes. So when so many of them are be upset, they never give her a lunch money, my view. Then 
Why am I? Yeah, man, I have a problem with you. I'm not busy where you want to call me, man. No matter where you want to call me, you talk your story and that's important. I'm not no vex if you call me nothing you now. Call no. me anything you want to call me. No. Yes. Oh, man. I just you me just have a little Spanish thing for my view. <laughs> yes, yes. But you know you're upset, no. man. So just well, talk to me, man. My grandmother I'm... wicked. So when people are talking in general, um, if I live with a woman, you know, she have three pitney, four pitney, I try to give, deal with all four. I don't deal with kids rough. I don't deal with kids like them um, adults. I say, pitney, a pitney. They will pick me like pick me. Mm. She, 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 she want to fight me from her home. My, Azalea is my second daughter, but biologically she's my first little daughter. Right? Because the first child that Nicola have is a girl and I accept her, so I call her my first daughter. It doesn't matter what they say or do. Right? Yes. So, when she tried to take this little one from me, you know, I never argue with her, I never cuss her, I never say nothing, but I just use the law. And uh, and what um, I passed in Parliament from 1957 and amended back in 2017, those are the laws I use on them. I don't have time to pay a lawyer. No, but... You no, but, so. no, but, but may I ask a question? You know, say, you know, say great people are always get a fight. You know, so the good people them always go through all kind of something because we know from the first time you call say you want good father, you know. To all you talk, we know say you love your baby mother. You have enough man out there where you walk there with all five women and, and the woman hardly see them only when they want some front, them visit the woman. And you're dead for the woman, you work for the woman, work for the picnic. You lose your baby mother, you mourn for the woman over here upon the program and the whole we mourn for you and pray for you upon the program. You're concerned about your baby mother. You raise issues about your baby mother. And you mean to tell me that that the, that your baby mother workplace after she's gone, and your baby mother pass off. The workplace give give her a check with some money, and she take the check. The seven hundred and odd thousand. She take the check and send money. Ghana foreign. Ghana get other picnic and buy up um, something and pant up at that chattel she want the fur. So where the picnic they must sleep and if, if you give her the furniture, how do I you buy them? Suppose I did the baby mother did buy them. Suppose it was her daughter by them. She would really want you to get the furniture said way. With the wallet of pity them and the monster suck the air and say, man, we man go through some suffering oh, wow. sometime. A woman no appreciate it, you know. Me say, we man go through some suffering sometime. Because when we can take one dollar for ourselves, we have to broke the bread and give away eighty dollar to the woman and the picnic her wife and picnic and take twenty dollar twenty cents for herself. Talk the truth no no enough time you no enough time you can't go work and now the money for go work and buy food cause you have to give money for the picnic them. Talk the truth now me general somebody I give me an next bill she go home back. That we live good I work with people but I can't ask anybody for your lunch, but you see my thing is not to make people feel like, say, I got to your fears. That means that you today, they are laugh with you, they are joke with you, they are hungry, they kill me, and you don't know. Yes. You see me only my real bread in them, you know, say, yo, Richard, she's up, man. You see me, because I saw me and them, you know, when them done, yes. see them. When me done, I not to tell them. They not have to tell me, you see me, and I two bread in alone, me have like that. You see me? So I'm going to keep friend in a general. Boy, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to say, you know, bad man. And you're a boss, man. I'm going to see them with you. I'm not even a yell here. I'm going to want people to see me a yell here and feel like I'm going to associate. Yes. You see me? I'm never going to jail police and see me a harass me. I'm going to kill myself like I'm a bad man. Yes. You see me? I have my kids and I always tell people, say, better me go to them and suffer with them than they are prison and people abuse them. You see me? A true. So, I'm going to ask one important question now, Richard. Yeah. Why is it that is the grandmother them give the money and not you? Aren't you the legal? Aren't, wouldn't be the kids be the beneficiary of the money? And wouldn't you be the guardian for the kids? You would be the trustee for the for, for, for the funds. How is it that the grandmother get the money and not you? 
What you have done? What you have done in the general? You see, when we go over there, the, the workplace, we tell the boss, send the money to administrative general. Boss, no. I'm sorry, right, then put it in our mother name. You see, when you're among your family for 20 years and you know them stay, hmm? you just know every move where them will make, like a chess. You just give them the opportunity to send themselves to a prison. You see me? So you see, if I move cool like them, my general, make sure you go to prison for it, you know. You make sure you go to prison for it, because I just report that to the administrative general. And she would have get five days to bring back all the money to the estate. Because she don't know she does die leave a credit card that she owe for sixty thousand dollars each day. That is going up on it. Your interest is accrued on a daily she basis. Know. Yes, so she don't know that you should put, if you want to control the estate, it's supposed to pay all the debt. Hey, By you law, you're supposed to pay all the debt first and then you start sharing the money. Hey, you see how people wicked? No, tell the truth now. You see how people you? wicked? Why, why, why wickedness <laughs> ever done upon the earth? Tell the truth now. Because you don't deserve this now. What about all the sacrifices you put in over the years and all kind of something? I, 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 I just wanted to go where to go because my daughter is 18 and um, my daughter is going to be 18 the June the 21st and she owes school and she now have nothing to do. I pay for her course for 200 and had thousand for her to do to learn to make the jack them are going on the wall and put up the internet to wire them and so forth. Yes. Make sure you do a course in her dad because she said she wants to do it. We say, all right, then pay fees. Her auntie, grandmother, and her next auntie, that she send the money to the two of them, is telling her to stop go to school and go and work. What do you mean by the people must stop go to school and, and go and work? Oh, what are them wicked, dirty people there do? Non-ambitious people there. Oh, what you really are tell me, say, brother? No. Hold on, the students, no, students, no. students, students, you really hear what go on here, sir? That means they're not no, love and care no. for your kids, them, Richard. They don't want the best for your kids, them. I croft them while you're picking the ton, man. Boy, metal says some people wicked, you know. That's why it is important for us people to try to stay alive for our kids, you know. Because when we pass off, you know, some people can't take liberty with the pitney, you see. When we pass off, you know, our pitney is left at the mercy of some wicked people and even them own family mistreat them because them parents are one of them parents though alive. Mighty God, do me a beg you protect for me one them. Do me a beg you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, and protect me somebody there for them. Boy, I tell you, Richard, go and talk this. It's a wicked act. I I'm March going on my birthday and I'm March 20th. You see, you see my mother, my mother dead in 2022. She dead March 11, 2022. Mm. My brother dead September 2022. Now I see him shoot him up a waterhouse and kill him. And then the next year she dead. So people might see me have a true easy and feel like, say, yo, him think good, you know. But you see, you me know certain things in life in general. Yes. You know, say, enough people drop, you know, and get up. But I will move. Makes sense. If that I can true. jump and get up and stay in one place and look for yourself. But if you get up and move, now you know, say, life carry on. So you have to just go and continue the way I do and not distract it from where I do. You see me? Why? So, and enough things me I got you, man, but me know for all the ground. That is a you really know. sad situation, though. I mean, nah, lie. That is a sad situation. And, mm -hmm. and some people just wicked because as a grandmother, look out for your grandkids, them. No, tell the truth, no, my general. I'm put, put phone and joke aside. No, put phone and joke aside. Chinese size, she call it tomorrow. Put phone and joke aside, my viewers and subscribers and everybody. You as a grandmother and your pitney dead. You're not going to try to look out for your pitney and be half of your dad. Hey, boy, I'm tell you some people weak. That's why wickedness can never stop you. Know, talk the truth, no, my general. 
I'm going to talk about me and the money for spend. You want me to have the money for spend? And me, I try to secure, secure the future and them. No, but even, them but even if you want you the money, but, 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 but even if you want the money for spend, are you going to work more while and feed our daughter and feed the, them? And you know, I have a problem, and that's why I say, say sometimes we have to be careful. Me have a problem when you are your woman in a good, good relationship and something happen and people outside start decide what happens and what happens. Me not like them something there. When you're your woman in a good, good time and good, good loving, them never know about it. When the two are on the hungry and they're in the house and eat good, I go, I go to eat the little one to have, nobody not know about it. I know that some of my people from outside. No, I'm not like them. Some of them, man. Boy, I'm tell you the destruction. I'm going to take the granny. The granny wicked for two. I'm not lie. Especially fear when I pick the grand pick them. The granny is wicked. So then, so then I think the granny.